not make which is a very important crop grid either. Because we now produce 33%, 40% of the water supply. The other major producer is Indonesia. That very much went under and it wouldn't emerge on the same scale as it is now within a, until about next eight, nine years. So it would be a monumental task. With the farming community, that's the most important thing we got to deal with, farming. Mm -hmm. Because at the moment, like, farming is really done. Yes, it is. You know? It takes a long time. To and to bring it back up, I feel Ivan does the best thing, you know, to put everything down and then we got to start fresh. Okay. And then with that, I feel we're going to start moving. Into other areas, maybe? Yeah, well, other areas got to come in as well, too. Because right now the nutmeg is done and that is the main backbone you have to say for the country. Yeah. Tell us about uh, this building, the Bucan. Well, the Bucan is about, the Bucan was built in 1855. And this estate is contained 1,000 acres of land. It's got sugar cane, it's got banana, it's got cocoa, it's got coffee, it's got much of spices, where everything is nice. And we got, um, we got a massive plantation, all the different cinnamon and spice, where everything is nice. All my little land mashed up, so I'm begging for a little help, because um, that has helped me, that, that's what I'm living by, I'm my little, Granny children and we have to go to school yeah. and so on and right now we are down and out. So I'm begging for a little help please from the the foreign support. Yeah. Everything they do sophisticated and so on. They don't know nothing. They don't like the earth. They gotta love the earth more. You see Rasta? Rasta loved the earth. Rasta could live in the earth and grow food every day. But these people, they could live by a computer, live by a cellular, a camera. That's what they live on. You know? Our national dish is oil dung. Right? That's why you make it breadfruit, kalaloo from the earth and everything, coconut. But just now, man is going to make oil dung from a computer in Grenada. They will just have to juke www oil don't come and you get oil don't dropping down from the computer just now. They don't like the soil anymore, they don't like the earth anymore. Yes sir? We are being colonized again. It's colonization of the mind. In slavery, it was colonization of the body by the British planter. Today, it's colonization of the mind by United States media, mass media. And that is why Bob Marley, this Jamaican reggae singer, sang what I consider to be the most meaningful song so far. Emancipate yourself from men's slavery. None but us can free our mind. I love Grenada to my heart. I'm really willing to see Grenada get back on his foot and things work. The generation, you know, say the youth is the generation of tomorrow. And we need to get together to save the youth and teach them the right things so they could proceed so that we won't get a kind of destruction again in time. To, to have the children educated, they need proper schooling. School is important. And without our education, the children on the island won't be able to move forward in life. It's really a rebuilding of the schools. All the schools, at least as far as I'm aware of, only about three of them had their roofs intact. So it's mainly 
um, a problem of the schools. I hope there are going to be um, agencies out there that will help Grenada reestablish its education by um, getting funds together to repair the schools. I think in the past we have been a very, very resilient set of people. Um, I think this time is going to be more difficult in the sense that the whole world has changed and I don't think we get handouts as easy as we did in the past. Um, so I, I suspect it would be a hard road to travel over the next few months. We have been devastated by Evan, but we understand that we have to, we are part of the world and therefore we have to participate and do what is necessary to make sure that we don't get left behind. So uh, what we will be doing as government is looking at all of the, uh, what has to be done to bring Grenada up. First of all, we have to bring Grenada back to what it was prior to Ivan. We were doing extremely well in terms of the economy, in terms of uh, understanding among the people and the development of the country. So we are going to be looking at ways in which we can create projects so that people will have on have employment and at the same time provide the skills and training to our people so that they can compete with the rest of the world. An island the size of Grenada and all the other islands you might see in the Eastern Caribbean have a drawback in that they are very small. And with the opening up of the world economy and um, world trade, the only solution really is to get together. Unfortunately, several attempts, including the West Indian Federation, failed right up to today. Every time somebody tries to get together, um, it fails for one reason or another. And that this is going to be the greatest problem and the greatest drawback to islands such as Grenada that are so tiny that they cannot face the new world order alone. And for me, meaningful Caribbean unity is Caribbean unity that brings with it simultaneously improvement in the day-to-day -day living conditions of Caribbean people, in the social and economic condition of Caribbean people. Oh, we have a great future. I think if everybody gets together and work hard, Grenada will be better, much better. We have a great future. Next 25 years, we're there. We just have to work hard. We need to get the forces together and go for it. Great future. Oh yes, well, you know, we, we're getting over Ivan and everybody seems to work in together and uh, it will be back and beautiful like before. Oh, nice. Very scenic. Beach is beautiful. People are lovely. You can't ask for more. <laughs> for me, the new Grenada, I'm excited. I think it's going to be super. The new Grenada. <laughs> going to be super. I think um, there's lots of work going on. The people are together. We're united. And um, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Oh, it, it's, Grenada has an excellent future. In, in, in two years' time, this would all be a memory. And um, you would look at it and say, you know, was there ever a hurricane uh, hit this place, you know? It would be just, it would be just really, I think, really back to normal. Our foreman um, for the construction work, the day after the hurricane, the first thing that I heard him say is, well, Ivan has taught me a lot. And he looked up at the roof and he said, now I know exactly what to do.